Hey all, uh, tonight we're going to have a look at how to play the classic and very melodic solo to Firth of Fifth by Steve Hackett and Genesis. Truly one of the greatest guitar solos of all time, and not because it's overly technical or extremely difficult to play. This one all comes down to melody and phrasing, which are uh, oftentimes much more important uh, than technical finesse to uh, crafting an excellent guitar solo. We're kind of in David Gilmour territory uh, with a solo such as this in that regard. So before we dig in, uh, a quick word about tone. Uh, though this one sounds like it's played on the neck pickup, of a Les Paul, because Steve Hackett often used a Les Paul and did use one on this solo. It's actually on the bridge pickup with the tone rolled off to about a three. Uh, there's a fair amount of gain going on in this one and it's also fairly drenched in delay and reverb. My performance of this one is down below in the description box if you'd like to check it out and I think I got the tone pretty close to the original. I personally use Bias FX software, Bias FX 2. I used a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier amp setup with loads of gain, gain on about 8 and volume at about 7. Bass and mids at noon with the tone rolled off to about 4. Uh, a compressor, lots of compression. Tube screamer in front of the amp, uh, simply as a boost with full volume and a zero drive and the tone rolled off again. A uh, fair amount of chorus, uh, then digital delay set at about 420 milliseconds with about four repeats, and then a fair amount of plate reverb at about 20%. We'll also need a volume pedal for a few volume swells throughout the solo. You can always use the volume knob on your guitar, but it can get a little bit awkward at times. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the volume swells too much during the tutorial, I'll point them out. And lastly, uh, we're also in standard tuning with this one and working in mostly E natural minor scale. So let's have a playthrough of this solo and uh, then we'll close in here a little bit and uh, dig into the solo to Firth of Fifth by Steve Hackett and Genesis. <laughs> Thank you. 
than that, it's pretty much how you play that solo. A couple of little mistakes in there. So let's close in here, uh, have a look at how to play this one. All right, so uh, we've, uh, like I said, we've got our tone rolled off uh, down to about a three, and uh, we're on the uh, the bridge pickup. It starts off here, 14th fret. I, I did a little, little slide into it. From not too far, you know, just two or three frets. Let that ring with some sustain. So let's just play through the first little part. So up to that point, and then we're getting into we're getting into those. So so a quick little slide into 14. And then you're gonna grab that 14 again very quickly, and then you're gonna go up to 12 of the B. And then down to seven, little half step bend, and uh, up to seven on the G. Now, then we're gonna jump up to nine on the G, and this one stands out uh, very much in the studio version that does have a volume swell. So uh, that note at 9 on the G, volume swell, up to 12, slide back to 11, and then we're into, we're into that part there. So up to that point, volume swell. And now we're into these four little hammer-ons from 10 to 12 on the high E. And then grabbing 10 on the B and sliding back to 7. And then we're going to do something very similar on the B string from 10 to 12. And then slide 9 back to 7 on the G. So four hammer-ons, 10 to 12 on the high E. 10 back to 7 on the B, and then 4 more hammer-ons from 10 to 12 on the B, and then 9 to 7 on the G. And then back to the original one on the high E, for one more uh, go-round of that. And uh, when you slide back to 7 this time, now we're going to slide from 10 to 12, and then we're going to go uh, up to the G string and slide from 9 back to 7. Kind of like that. So that whole little phrase. Uh... And now we're into this. So a little slide into 9 of the G, and then hammer on 7 to 8 of the B, string skip up to 9 of the D. And let that ring for a bit. And now we're into this trill from 4 to 7. And uh, I think that trill's like 13 times if I'm not mistaken. Four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then, and then you, you let the, uh, the 4 uh, ring just for a second, then grab back onto the 7. And then slide into 9. And then right up the scale there uh, from 7 to 8. Double hit at uh, 10 and then slide into 12. Sorry, it's one hit and a double hit at 12, not a double hit at 10. And now we're into this. And that's just a little slide from 13 back to 12, back to 10, slide back to 12 for a double hit. And then we're going to go 10 to 12 on the high E. And then slide into 14. 
and here is where this note just kind of sustains forever. Uh, Steve Hackett used a, uh, a sustainer uh, pickup on his guitars. Uh, what's the name of them? Starts with F. Can't remember. Fernandez. There it is. Uh, Fernandez sustainers. Uh, he used them a lot to get those notes that just sustain forever. I can't do it here with my little practice amp. But uh, that note... He lets it, it just sustains forever. And uh, so once the note sustains, in my performance, I just kept hitting it. And uh, then we're into this. Lots of lovely little half bends there. So uh, we're, we're at 14, coming out of the long sustaining note on the high E, giving it a little half step bend with lots of vibrato. There's a ton of vibrato coming up. And then one final bend release up to 12, a little half step bend with lots of vibrato. Back to seven, half step bend, loads of vibrato, real wide vibrato on that note there. And then we're into this. That's a lovely little pattern. Uh, we're sliding into 12 and we're, we're bouncing every one of these uh, descending notes off of the uh, eighth fret of the high E. Just rolling right down the scale, 12, 10, 8, 7. And uh, when we get to eight, we're gonna slide into it. Now the first one you slide in, then grab eight. And then just grab 10, 8, slide. And then we're going to slide into 8, grab that 8 of the uh, high E, back to 7 of the B, back to 8 of the high E. And uh, now we're into this. sliding into nine of the uh, G string. Down to eight of the B, sliding into 12 of the B. Down to 12 of the high E and then back to 11. And then just a little pull off hammer on from 12 back to 10, back to 12 of the B. So let's back up to the very beginning and uh, take it up to that point slowly. to this. And uh, so we're back up to the G string on the 7-9. 
And so a full step bend seven to nine, then a full step bend of the nine on the G. And then back to the natural note at nine. And then we're gonna go up here to the D string 10, 12. And then slide the 12 into 14. And then back it up to 13. And now we're gonna do a little scale run. And a pretty simple little scale run. 13, 14 of the uh, D, and then we're gonna go 11, 12, 14 of the G. And then the exact same pattern, uh, but on 12, 13, 15 of the B. And then 12, 14 of the uh, high E. And then when you get to 14, you're gonna hit it like two or three times. And then after, I think that you, I think you hit it twice, and then the third time you hit it again and give it a nice bend with vibrato. And then uh, a final bend release, and then back to twelve again of the B, and then a little half step bend. We're doing the same thing we did a little bit earlier, and then back to seven. And then the exact same pattern that we played earlier. It's, it's basically just repeating the exact same thing we did earlier. And then back to this again. And this time, instead of going up here, that time we did the uh, the scale run. This time we're just going to go back up to to uh, five of the uh, G, and then five seven slide into nine, and then uh, back it up to eight. And uh, and then we're into what is pretty much the second half of the solo. And uh, so let's play it up. To uh, that point, and uh, at a at a slower speed, so. starts the second half of the solo. So we're up to, uh, uh, what is that, nine on the D, string skipping down to eight, and then back to seven of the B. And then up to 10 of the B. And then backing it all the way up here to five of the G. jumping a little bit of jumping around going on here uh, now we're up to 12 of the B sliding back to 10 and 
and uh, and then we're into this uh, kind of odd uh, sounding little lick that he does, but it uh, it works. <laughs> So we're pulling off uh, seven to four and then grabbing five. And um, we're on the G string, seven to four of the G, and then we're grabbing uh, five of the D. And we're doing the exact same thing from the D to the A string. And then backing it up from four, five, seven of the, uh, of the D. And then sliding it into nine. So up to that point from the middle of the solo. And then we're into this. And that's a nine of the G back down to seven of the B. And then uh, seven, eight, ten, and then a double hit at ten, and then slide into twelve. And then we're going to grab fifteen of the uh, B string for a full step bend release. Jump down here to two of the G. Another little full step bend. Bend release. And then we're going to slide from two to four back to two for a double hit. And then slide the whole thing into eight of the G. So that whole little phrase, uh, where are we? Um, that I'm playing with a lot of vibrato. There's a lot of vibrato in this solo. Just go nuts with the vibrato on any static note, any note that you're holding for any amount of time. Give it lots of vibrato. It just uh, really works in this solo. And now we're into another little scale run, almost the exact same as the first one. Uh, except it's just the last uh, little part of it. So he's just going, uh, what is that, 11, 12, 14. And then 12, uh, 12, 13, 15 of the B. And then 12, uh, 14 for a double hit. And then another full step bend, very similar to what we did earlier. And then the exact same thing we did in the first half of the solo. Bend, release at 14, grabbing 12 of the B. Half step bend, back to seven. Lots of vibrato, little half step bend again. Into this lick again. Same thing we did earlier. Same thing we did earlier. Same thing we did earlier. And then the whole solo ends on that note right there at uh, 9 of the uh, of the G string and then he goes into another little thing here but uh, let's run through the final half of this solo there's a lot of repeating patterns so it's nothing too difficult here and, uh, and then I'll show you the very last couple of things he does so second half
bit of a softer. That last note is kind of played softly as the the, the solo is ending and the band comes back in, and uh, kind of the the song starts to mellow out a little bit. And so he takes that note at nine, slides it back to one, up to two, slide it into four. And then he does it again. And then this little lick. That's a nine of the uh, G down to seven of the B. Up to nine of the B. Slide up to 12, back down to nine. And then the whole solo ends with this. A little hammer on pull off uh, between seven and nine of the B. And finishes up on nine of the B. And in my performance, I did a little slide into 17. And I'll let that note just ring with lots of vibrato. And uh, that's pretty much it for that solo. So I'm going to run through the entire solo slowly. And uh, it's a long solo, so this is probably going to take me three minutes to get through this solo at a slow speed. But uh, hey, let's do it anyway. I'm not going to do any volume swells. Or let's slide into that note. My friends, is how you play the solo to Firth of Fifth by Steve Hackett and Genesis. I certainly hope I uh, helped you out there with that one, and that's a great bloody solo. And uh, please check out my uh, performance of this one because I'm kind of proud of it. I think it sounds really good. And uh, anyway, you guys take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao.